Okay, so today I'm going to talk about how to use this new tool called Particle Track. So uh, here, this is a exe files, and this is a testing videos. Okay, so um, you just uh, click uh, this uh, uh, exe files, and uh, this file is uh, uh, programmed by MATLAB, so it's rather slow. Uh, just be a little bit patient, and eventually it will open. Okay, so this is a, a MATLAB app. So there is a, a interface here. You can see this is a select a video file to start. So you just click load a video. So over here, this is how many frames you're going to have. But right now we don't have anything, so it doesn't show it correctly. But this is a, a videos, a testing videos. So you click open. So then you can see um, now the frames becomes 157. So this is all the frames uh, you're going to see in the video. Okay. So um, by the time, it's a lot of the time we have uh, asymmetrical particles, and we want to track this particle, get the x, y, and the rotation from them. So in order to do that, it will say it's track not selected. So we, we select object. Okay. So it says selecting tracking particles and rotated to define a direction. So uh, what you do is uh, you drag a square. So this is my particle. And then well, uh, this is a bug. So you actually have a, a open something. You just close it. Or you just uh, minimize them. And then you put, uh, OK. Um, and then you can drag this one, uh, this particles. Uh, by the time I be a little bit patient, so it will show a alignment. So it basically align these particles to an axis. You think it's going to be your particle axis. Okay, so it's going to be matters later on, but now it's right now it's here. So if it's good, so we double click it. So this is a tracking selected. So this is we're going to be this program is going to track this object. We think this frame is okay. So the next thing is here is a tracking particle uh, selected. So uh, select initial tracking to continue. So we're going to collect initial tracking. So this basically is the first frame. As in this moment, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to select again where the particle is. Again, there is a bug, so uh, you you minimize them, and then you rotate this uh, diagonals to make sure they align properly with the directions roughly, and then you double click. You can see here this is X and Y and R is now has been updated. So the next thing you're going to do is track because it says ready to track. So you click track. Okay, so now this is how this particle was frame by frame tracked by the program. So this actually have a two color. One is green, another is, uh, uh, is red. So if they align properly, you're probably going to see something like this. Okay, and they're going to uh, follow all the frames. And when it's actually continue, uh, completed, you're going to see uh, this says, OK, success, particle tracking complete, data recorded to files. OK, click OK. Now, in the same folder, you have a video tracking uh, Excel file, because we were having this uh, testing video. So it's a testing video Excel file. You open it. OK. So then you can see this is uh, at the different frames. You have a uh, X and R and the angle of that particle. So in total, in this one, we have a 157 frames, because the first one is x, y, and r, so it doesn't matter. OK, so if you are interested, we can uh, use this tools.